Okay, in this video we will solve a problem that was asked in uh, net December 2018 uh, paper and this is a problem of mathematical physics and it says the contour C of the following integral of dz root over z minus 1 to z minus 3 divided by z square minus 25 to the power 3 in the complex plane is shown in the figure the contours in the clockwise direction and the wavy line corresponds to a branch cut this integral is equivalent to an integral along which of the following contours these are the four contours given in the options and you have to identify the original contour is equivalent to which contour in terms of evaluating the given integral okay so let us look at the solution to this question this is a very very good question actually So if you see the uh, function given in the question, it it it's a, it is root over z minus 1 into z minus 3 divided by z square minus 25 to the power 3. Because of this uh, square root present in the numerator, uh, this is actually a multi-valued function, and therefore. Uh, if you if you see z equals to 1 and z equals to 3 are the branch points of the function which means that uh, to evaluate any integral you have to uh, you have to treat uh, if to take a branch cut from z equals to 1 to z equals to 3 and for, uh, which is actually shown in the question also that if to take a branch cut from z equals to 1 to z equals to 3 so now after you have taken a branch cut you can evaluate an integral along this contour and uh, uh, now you have to identify wo where are the uh, poles of the function so if you see that z square minus 25 to the power 3 which is present in the denominator of the function um, it has a zero uh, it has zero that z equals to plus minus 5 and uh, because of the cube present uh, along with that the poles are actually of order 3 but that will not make a that will that will that will not be significant for us what what we have to see rather is that at z equals to plus minus 5 that is at the location of the poles of the function the numerator root over z minus 1 to z minus 3 is actually analytic okay and since uh, at z equals to plus minus 5 the numerator is analytic and anyways the denominator is analytic in regions between uh, z is equals to plus minus 5 and therefore the contour uh, given in the question the original contour can be continuously deformed within the region of analyticity of the function without changing the value of the integral so what we do is to extend the contour okay and now to see what uh, the original contour what, the, what this contour is equivalent to we, we we consider a different contour let's see double dash um, as shown in this figure and this contour is deliberately taken to be in the clockwise sense okay so this contour is made up actually of the contour c1 c dash and c2 where the gaps uh, shown here is, is actually infinitesimally small it can be made infinitesimally small uh, but due to the count, um, clockwise sense of this contour, the area uh, um, which lies inside this contour is by convention uh, the shaded area. That means uh, minus 5 and plus 5 are outside this contour and therefore the only possible singularity that can be present in, uh, that can be present in the function for this contour is that it is uh, equal to infinity. So we have to check whether z equals to infinity is a singularity of the function or not. So for that what we do is we substitute z equals to 1 by t. So this is the usual procedure for checking, uh, for checking the singularity uh, of a function at z equals to infinity. We put z equals to 1 by t then rearrange the function and uh, rearrange uh, all the things in the numerator and the denominator and then put t is equals to 0 and if we, if we do that uh, we, we actually find that at z equals to at, uh, at, at t equals to 0 uh, fz is actually 0 it says 
simply that fz does not blow up fz equals to infinity and therefore it is not a singularity z equals to infinity is not a singularity of fz therefore the if you find the residue of fz at z equals to infinity you would again see that the residue comes out to be zero so it's a regular point which means that for the contour that we considered uh, this this contour the clockwise contour c double dash uh, there are no poles inside this contour and the Cauchy integral theorem tells you that uh, the in the contour integral uh, of the function for this particular contour should actually be zero because the function is analytic because the function is analytic uh, at this uh, inside this contour so we write it uh, formally as integral of root over z minus 1 to z minus 3 divided by z square minus 25 to the power 3 dz over contour c double dash is equals to 0 and now we break this contour into three contours as was shown there as c1 c dash and c2 where we already pointed out that the uh, the gaps in the contour shown can be made infinitesimally small and therefore these are these can be treated as separate contours c1 c dash and c2 so what we now do is to separate the uh, full integral into three different contours and label the different integrals uh, the label of the separate uh, label the separate integrals as uh, i1 i dash and i2 now if you look at uh, if you look at uh, these terms uh, separately you 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 can write minus i dash is equals to i1 plus i2 but since the contour was taken in the clockwise sense uh, but the original contour given in the question to c was in the anti-clockwise sense you can see that minus i dash is actually equal to i where i is the contour integral of fz over the original contour and therefore i should be equal to i1 plus i2 okay therefore the contour given in the question originally is equivalent to the contour as shown here in the clockwise sense and, and both of them should give uh, the same value of the integral okay so the correct option for this uh, question is option uh, B okay so thank you for watching the video